Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Witcher Stovall Public Library's Puppet Theater. Today we're going to make some sock puppets. These are quite easy to make. And if you don't happen to have an extra pair of socks at home, you can just go to the dollar store. That's where I got my puppets from, my socks. And they've got these beautiful, soft, very soft and plush, and they stretch. And they have beautiful colors all over them, different designs. And since socks come in pairs, you get two puppets. So to make a puppet with these socks, you don't need very much. First of all, you're gonna put your sock on your hand and you're gonna put your thumb right where the um, heel of your foot goes. Okay, and then the rest of your fingers are going to be in the top part of the puppet. And that way it makes a mouth and he can move. So the first thing we're going to do for our puppet is to create our mouth. Now I kind of cut a, tri um, a diamond out really. It's two triangles put together as a diamond. And we're going to just cut that diamond out, diamond shape, stick it in, make sure it's the right size. If not, we just cut. And then we're going to glue it top and bottom. We're not going to glue the very back of his mouth to the sock. We want a little bit of wiggle room. So just do the top and the bottom. Hold it, press it together like that so it will stay in place. And then we can cut ourselves a tongue. So a tongue is pretty simple. You can make it any color you want. I made it a red tongue. Cut out my red tongue and just stuck it inside his mouth. I sort of did it off to the side. It give him a little bit of a different look. So our mouth is done. Then I gave him two eyes. So what I did was I had um, poster board and I had colored printer paper. So I cut out a good size circle for the back part of his eye. Then I cut a smaller circle um, out of the colored computer paper. And then in the very middle of that eye, I drew a circle with a marker and colored it in. And then I did that also for the other side. So we got two eyes and those were both put on using white glue, Eileen's Tacky Glue. And then I gave this one a little bit of hair. I have lots of yarn around. So I just cut a few strands of yarn for the hair. This one kind of looks like the girl with the pink nose and the pink hair. And that's one puppet. If you wanted, you could also add arms. I did not, but you could. Just by even tracing your hand, cutting the shape out and gluing it on the sides. So that's puppet number one. And you always have to give it time to harden so that it stays put. And it will dry while we're making our second puppet. So we just take the other sock from the set. I did this one a little bit differently. The mouth was the same. I cut a similar shape out, made sure that it fit in the mouth, and then glued the top and the bottom. And then this time I used styrofoam balls. Probably I'm going to say two inches in size. And I hot glued the um, styrofoam balls to the sock because they needed a little more support. And then I had some googly eyes, some good size googly eyes. So I just used Eileen's white tacky glue and attached the googly eyes to the styrofoam balls. So now I have two sets of... Uh, a set of eyes 
And for hair, I had some um, party paper, I guess I'll call it. It's that um, you can use it at Christmas. And if you've got that leftover from Christmas, just cut in strips, little um, strips of various colors. Make them nice and long. You can crinkle them up and then just glue it on in between your eyeballs. And that almost gives this one um, the look of having a mane down his back. So that's it. We've got the mouth, we've got the eyes, and we've got his hair. This one I decided not to put a nose on like I did the other one. This purple bit on the end I thought could be his real nose. Okay, so that's two puppets in a very short period of time. So it's basically whatever you can find around your house to make hair, eyes, mouth, and a nose. And that's it. All right, so I think, as I said, this one here with the pink nose looks like a girl. And this one's the boy. And we're going to use our stage that we made our first week. And we're going to do a puppet show now with our two brother and sister. And you can find um, puppet shows online that are free. Um, some of them are really quite good. That's what I did. I went online. I just searched. So we're going to do a story called Little Blue Red Riding Hood. It's supposed to be Little Red Riding Hood. But that's the thing. He's doing a story about Little Blue Riding Hood. And we're going to use our stage from last week. So here it is again. We had cut out the top and made our curtains. We had opened up a side so that if we wanted to get through the side to the front of the stage, we could. And I've also cut a hole in the back to have back access. And this is how these guys are going to get there, is coming through the back. So I um, got another box and put our stage on top of the box just to give it a little more height and uh, make it a little easier to uh, put the puppets up on the stage. So we're going to be doing a story called Little Blue Riding Hood. And remember our puppet with the pink nose is our girl and the puppet with the big googly eyes is our boy and our boy's name is Benny in this story this is Benny and this is Jenny and this is Little Blue Riding Hood and it's written by Nancy Whetstone once upon a time Benny, are you talking to yourself? No, I was going to tell the kids a story until my annoying sister came along. You don't have any other sisters, and I know you're not talking about me. Can I listen? Sure, Jenny, if you promise not to interrupt all the time. Who, me? Oh, I can't believe the things you're saying about me. I'm always so sweet and kind and helpful, and Jenny, let me tell my story. The kids don't have all day. Oh, sorry, kids. Go ahead, Benny. What story are you telling? Little Blue Riding Hood. Don't you mean Little Red Riding Hood? I suppose so. So anyway, once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Green Riding Hood. Red. Yes, I've read the story. Now don't interrupt. That's not what I meant. You called her Little Green Riding Hood. But her name is really Little Red Riding Hood. You should tell the story the way it really is. Oh, all right. Have it your way. One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to school with a bushel of apples for her teacher. No, no, no. What? I called her Little Red Riding Hood like you wanted. But you got everything else wrong. 
She was supposed to go to her grandmother's house with a basket of cakes. Oh, all right. Little Red Riding Hood went to her grandmother's house, and on the way she met a giraffe. A what? A giraffe. You know, those funny looking things with long necks. I know what a giraffe is, but that's not what Little Red Riding Hood met. Of course it wasn't. It was a rhinoceros. No, not a rhinoceros or a giraffe. A skunk? I thought you knew this story. She definitely did not meet a skunk. Good, because skunks stink. Pee-you. <sighs> Benny, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. Oh, yeah. And the wolf says to Little Purple Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Right. He says, how now, brown cow? No, he did not. The wolf said, what do you have in your basket, little girl? Correct. I was just testing you. And after the wolf said, whatever you said, he said, little orange riding hood. Oh, Benny, come on. Look, Jenny, are you telling this story or am I? You are, but just tell it right. It was Red Riding Hood and she had cakes in her basket. Oh, all right. So then the dragon says, dragon, what dragon? It was a wolf. Right. And the wolf burst into song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Why on earth would the wolf sing? Happy birthday. Because you said her basket was full of birthday cakes. I did not say her basket was full of birthday cakes. I said there were cakes. Just ordinary, everyday cakes. Benny, you can't tell a story for anything. You've got these kids so mixed up, they probably think you're out of your mind. Fine then, it's smarty pants. You tell the story. Okay, I will. Hmm, which story should I tell? Maybe the one about the brother and sister who got lost in the woods? Hansel and Google? No, I'll tell you about the beautiful girl who lives in the forest with a bunch of little men, you know, Snow White and the 17 short guys? No, I'll tell you my favorite story of all. The one about the boy who trades his cow for magic beans, Jack and the Bean Bag. Or I could tell the tale of Puss and Sneakers, or Sleeping Ugly, or Now You're Just Being Silly. I'm leaving. Guess he can dish it out, but he can't take it, huh, kids? The end.